thought I had this all set up, and of course, no, it's not. Okay. So, good morning, YouTube friends. This is Maria doing my first live stream on my channel, Maria's Miscellany. Um, guessing that you're probably watching the replay because I truly don't expect anybody to <laughs> come on live. However, um, well, we'll see what happens. I'm just kind of playing around this morning. Um, let me sneak my face in there. Hi. Yeah, well, there's a reason why I didn't want to show my face and then I go show my face. <laughs> okay, so this morning I am actually home alone. Uh, well, if you don't count my furry friends, it's just me and the dogs this morning. And it's such a beautiful morning. Uh, there's light coming in from both sides. I have windows on that side and I have windows on that side. And, um, and then I put up a little light up here, right behind the camera. And I thought, wow, uh, I really enjoy watching other people crafting and, uh, chatting. And so I said, why don't I give it a try? Um, and recently I have not really had a lot of time. I've been trying to sneak in a few minutes here and there to, do some stuff, but I've just been so busy with school. I'm a school teacher and um, I'm a new, pretty new school teacher. This is only my second year officially as a teacher. And, um, you know, I'm still learning and it still takes me forever to do everything. <laughs> Lesson planning and papers. And it just so happens that this morning that I'm home alone, I'm actually pretty caught up. And I thought I'm going to take an hour and craft even though there's so many other things in my house I should be doing, you know, I've got the floors to do, the laundry, the, oh, Lord, don't let me get started, don't let me get started. <laughs> but recently, what I have been really uh, um, inspired with have been old children's books, um, and old books in general, but um, I've been watching a lot of junk journal videos and stuff, and I am going to do a junk journal eventually, um, I kind of started one and I think it, it's here to show you, but I'm not going to do that today. I'm going to show you what I've been doing with old children's book uh, pictures. And of course, as I say that, I see that something that I wanted to show you is not here. So if you're watching, you know, the replay, which more than likely you are, you can fast forward to this part. I'm going to run and get what I wanted to show you. Okay. Oh, oops, I just knocked the camera. I'm sorry. Okay. Let's see, am I still here? Yeah, I'm all knocked over to the side. Okay. Let me straighten this out. Oh, because it's behind the chair. Okay. Is that good? I want you to be able to see this area here. Okay. So um, I picked up these children's books probably for a few cents each. I don't even remember. I've had them uh, for a long time. Oh, there's actually somebody here. Hello. Hi. Is it Mario? Now I'm having to look up like this so I don't, I can't read very well and the light is glaring off my glasses. So I'm sorry if I don't address you by name, but thank you so much for being here with me this morning. Um, and actually, you know what? I just kind of playing with this idea. Whoever is actually live with me today, uh, I see Mario and who else is there? Oh, I can't see you, darn it. Okay, again, I'm like a total newbie, so please forgive me um, for not addressing you more professionally. <laughs> okay, but you know what? Um, make sure that after the uh, live stream, you send me a little email or something. I want to send you a little present, okay? So that you can email me and then I can email you back to request your address and I'll send you probably one of the items that I've made either now or recently. So anyway, I've been buying uh, children's books. Look at this beautiful book. It is a, a song book for children. And I've already gutted it tremendously. 
um, cut off all the pages and look at all these beautiful illustrations in this book. These are, I took out all of the colored ones and just put them, stacked them so that I could show you. I mean, isn't that like gorgeous? I love this one. This one I definitely want to frame. Look at that, how sweet is that? I mean, I love children, obviously. That's why I'm a school teacher. And I'm a school teacher at a Catholic school, so I definitely love children praying. So, see, songs about Jesus. And uh, so this book just totally spoke to me. And it really kind of, I debated for a long time whether I wanted to tear it up or not. But, you know, it was just going to sit on the shelf with nobody enjoying it. So, okay, then this goes on to the drawings. There's some pretty pencil drawings, too that I thought I might be able to do something with. And then of course, the musical notes. Look at that, how pretty is that? Can you see it? Okay. All right, so, uh, but really what, what really inspired me of this book were these beautiful drawings. So what I, uh, colored pictures. So what I ended up doing is I took a few of them that I really liked and I framed them. Look, this is even a little pencil drawing. I got these, uh, um, picture frames at garage sales and thrift stores. And I believe these came from a garage sale that I paid a dollar each for them. So here's a little girl looking out her window, maybe thinking about God, hopefully. <laughs> and uh, this is like a five by seven frame. So that came from this book. Um, I'm telling you, these frames, when I got them, they were all dingy. And what I actually did is I took some coconut oil and I just, you know, obviously took the glass out because the glass was dingy too. And I cleaned it with vinegar and water and Windex and all that. And, um, you know, it came out clean. And then the frame, I just basically rubbed it with coconut oil. And that cleaned it and conditioned it so nicely. Now, I do want to finish off the back a little bit better. But, um, uh, Louis, hello, Louis. Oh, gosh. See, the thing is that when I see a chat popping up, I can, I try to look at it and then it disappears. So, um, okay, let me just go on then. Hope you're enjoying this. Isn't that beautiful? I mean, especially for Florida. I live in Florida. A little boy holding up a shell. That's like so precious. So I'll probably end up putting that in my bathroom for a while. And here's a little boy and his dog praying. And again, this cost me maybe a little bit over a dollar because the frame was a dollar and the pictures inside were like a few cents. So, um, uh, you know, I'm going to hold on to these. If I don't use them myself, I'll, if ever I do a craft show, I'm going to try to sell them. And you know what? I have no idea what I would sell them for. That would be fair. And um, look at that. I mean, can you imagine that for a little boy's room? That's so precious. See, pretty. And the last one's my favorite. It's a bigger frame. I actually had this matting from a long time ago that I thrifted also. And it's just Jesus with all the children. And I like that they tried to include <laughs> a little ethnic diversity because all the other pictures are just little white kids. <laughs> but this one is, is really cute. So... Those are all the only ones that I framed. Um, but what I wanted to do and what I've been doing is, um, again, um, I haven't had much time to craft. So, um, you know, I've just been kind of hoarding stuff. So what I, what I did is I took my uh, stash of scrapbooking paper, which I keep in this, you know, one of these containers here. And um, last night, as I had some time, I created all of these. <coughs> Excuse me. See, this is the loveliness of going live. <laughs> uh, I'm a um, serial sneezer, so I can't just sneeze just one time. It just happens one after the other. <laughs> okay, wonderful. All right, so I made all these blank blanks. And what I want to do is I want to cut off some of these... Uh, these pictures to fit in here. 
Um, the reason I cut them this size is that I had this stack of envelopes that are about, and I measured it just on my, what do you call it here, on my uh, cutting board. I grabbed one and I just measured it and it's about a little over seven inches by a little bit over five inches. So that's for like a five by seven card, right? So I started cutting these card, these uh, papers in, you know, five by seven, pretty much five by seven. And um, I tried to pick the papers that were sturdier, like cardstock or a little sturdier so that I didn't have to do anything else to this other than put a picture on here. And that's actually what I did before with another children's book. I shared it in another video after the live stream. I'll try to link it up here. Um, but let me share some that I didn't share in that video that I've done so far. So, and I just put them in like little bags that I found or Ziploc bags, but this came from a little poetry book. Isn't that sweet? And all it is, is again, one of those, um, pieces of scrapbooking paper. Now this was a like a plain white piece of scrapbooking paper and then I added I guess a little matting piece in there okay so uh, there's that but I did a whole bunch of those okay so these were on cardstock so I remember now this was a set of envelope envelopes that came with cards and so all I did was I went ahead and matted the pictures because you know just the white on white edge wasn't going to be too pretty so that's what I did with these and they all came out like that so these are you know from a little poetry book that was also vintage I think it was from like the 70s 80s and uh, those now these were just an old Dr. Seuss book do you recognize those and I don't remember which book it was but it was all like torn up um kind of like you see how this uh this book that I showed you is all torn up. I didn't do that to it. It, it. When I got it, it was like that already torn up. And I think this one either even had some water stains on like the edges of the page. So I just found little images that I thought would look nice. And um, I found some coordinating paper. Uh, where am I going? Sorry about the crinkling here. Okay. So um, this paper, again, came from my stash. And see, it's plain. So whoever wants to can just write their own little sentiment. And I can, if I get around to selling them, I can sell them as blank cards. Um, so I thought those were really cute. Okay. What I'm struggling with is how, how much to price these at. Uh, when I did my video before, I said, oh, I'll just sell them for a dollar because I figured that, you know, it didn't cost me anything hardly for these things. I mean, the paper was probably the thing I spent the most money on. And I never spent more than maybe $6 for a whole pad of paper. So I'm thinking this whole card probably cost me, you know, less than 10 cents to make. Or maybe, you know, about 10 cents to make. And of course, my time and creativity and all that. But uh, so I was going to sell it for a dollar and then... Um, Nicole over in Lesting Heaven said, oh, please don't sell them for a dollar. You know, they're worth more than that. But I mean, how much more? I don't know. <laughs> $2, $3? I don't know. I mean, but they are unique because, you know, no two are going to be the same since I'm using whatever paper I have and whatever um, books I have. And I'm not copying the images from the books. I know that's a something you can do is if you want to keep an image, you can scan it and then you can reprint it. But these are the actual book. I mean, you can see this one's a little stained even, but it was such a pretty picture. I didn't want to throw it out. So I cut around it and just, you know, said, well, if somebody wants it like that. Here, I actually put a little washi tape to coordinate a little bit because it seemed too empty in the middle. Yeah, I love these Dr. Seuss ones. These are silly. I like silly little sheep. And then these are just basically when I was playing around with other materials I had. I have, I have that punch there. And uh, I, I tried doing a little dimensional thing there. These are just not so special. The ones I really like are the ones that are made with the 
book pages because even if they're plain, even if all I'm doing is just sticking the picture on there, they're unique already because of the image, you know? This was an old book. Let's see, do I have to, do I have the cover of this book? I think so. Yep. Okay. So this book was The Young Outlaw. That was a really old book. Uh, don't understand the value of your time. Okay, that's not my thing. Okay. Let me see. How can I see the comments? Did I press this? Ah, there you go, Mario. Don't underestimate the value of your time and creativity. Trying to price them like greeting cards. Okay. Uh, learn to sell them. Yeah, you know what? I had an Etsy shop. Uh, well, I guess it's still there. I just haven't been using it. And that was an option that I was considering is trying to put these up on Etsy. Etsy. But again, that takes you know, time to take pictures and put them up. So what I'm thinking is, and thank you so much, Mario, for that comment. Uh, what I'm thinking is that I, uh, or this summer, <laughs> after I'm done with all the craziness of school, um, I'm going to do that. So thank you for that encouragement. I'm going to this summer be listing some of these on Etsy because um, honestly, I don't have any craft shows scheduled right now. So I don't know where I would sell them other than that. Uh, but it just takes time, you know. Oh, but check this out. This is something else that, of course, this one's not finished, that I'm doing with the children's books is um, like the covers. I mean, I don't want to just discard the covers either. I'm going to kind of doll them up a little bit. Like this one has, um, uh, let's see, this is washi tape around it. But washi tape sometimes comes off easily, so I need to finish it somehow. But let me show you one that is pretty finished. That's really cute. Check this out. Oh, oh, this one is one I shared in the other video. Um, but uh, look at this one. Isn't that cool? This was the back. Where's the book? This book, More Friends and Neighbors, which had a, a whole bunch of really cute pictures of, of children and stuff. And um, there we go. So what I did is I put some scrapbooking paper in the back and this clip and it's a little clipboard, see? And so you can, you know, just even like hang it on the wall with a picture or even if you've got kids and you want to give them a small piece of paper in the car to draw with or whatever, they have a little clipboard that they can use. So um, I do want to decorate this clip a little bit. Like, let me show you what I did with this one. This was a little peach clip, and this is the back of the book, but see what I did to the inside is I put scrapbooking paper here and this little owl sticker, and I put one here and see the corners at the bottom are sticking out. I wasn't sure if that was good, but so either way, you have a little owl. You flip it up, you know, to put your paper or whatever in here. Um, there. And you can likewise either hang it I'm oh, sorry, hang it or, you know, use it as a little clipboard. So these are really cute. I'm going to have to think about how much I want to charge for those as well. Um, and this one, I actually rounded the corners because they, they were a little rough. So I rounded the corners on that. So I really, I really, that's my favorite one so far. Uh, but I want to do that with the covers of the books. See, and I'll even be able to do that with this one. This will be a bigger, a, bi a bigger cover. And I'll just... Um, Let's see. Yeah, I'll put another paper on the inside, maybe cut around the edges, sand it or something because see how the rough the edges are. And that would make a really cute, cute uh, clipboard. So ah, my phone is telling me that it's running low on battery, so it's going to kick me out. All right. So let's see. So if my phone kicks me out because I have no idea where my my charger is I think it's upstairs um I will uh you know obviously if my phone turns off I will suddenly be gone but let's see if I can do one of these and show you just how I do uh, the card okay so I'm going to pick this card it's actually double-sided now something like this will be brown on the inside so I'll probably have to Oh, sorry for knocking you over. I'll have to glue or take um, tape. Oh, let's see. I can see something. Let me see. What did you say? Chat. 
Oh, thank you. Oh, I thought it was a good idea. <laughs> okay, so I'm so this is how I make the cards. Here's a this sheet is 12 by 12. Okay, so I just put it on my little cutting board here. I measure to 10 inches because the card is going to be five by seven, so it's gonna be have to fold it, right? I take off this strip and I have like a whole stack of these strips. I have to figure something to do with it. I just turn it over to the side and um, go to seven inches. There you go. Cut off this strip. And actually with these strips, they're big enough that I can make a smaller card. So I've been doing this, but I'll do that later. Okay, and then I turn it over again. Just to make it easier to fold, I go to five and I take my little bone folder, this thing that came with the board, and I go down the five and it creases it for me. So all I have to do is just fold it and it has a perfectly straight, you know, crease. Now, I don't know if you noticed, for some reason, this is supposed to come out perfect with these boards, but I don't know what I'm doing wrong. It's coming out a little bit uneven. So I'm having to go back and kind of slice off a little sliver just so that it's all even, which is no problem. It just leaves me all these little slivers. So let me see this side. Yeah, I still see something sticking out. So I kind of clean it up that way. And one more. Okay. And now I have a perfectly edged card. Let's see, Maria, maybe you can charge the phone while recording next time. Yeah, thank you. Again, I'm a newbie. This is my first time. Sorry about that. Okay, so now I have this uh, corner punch, which I probably got on clearance somewhere because I'm cheap like that. I don't ever pay retail for anything. Like this board, uh, I bought it at Michael's, but I had a 60% off coupon that day. So I think normally it's like 30 bucks. I probably paid like, oh, what's what's uh 60 percent of that like 12 dollars or something so so this i probably paid a couple bucks for okay so then i chomp off the corners like that and it kind of makes it nicer what do you see out there drax don't knock over my tripod okay trinity okay so my big dog drax the 100 pound you know dog whines when he sees somebody and my little eight pound yorkie trinity she's the one that growls <laughs> it's so funny and okay so sometimes i punch all four edges like that okay and i just think it makes it a nice little base there okay and on the inside it'll be like that but you know that's okay so now since this is brown inside i would not leave it like that i'll have to add it like you know if you've seen greeting cards, sometimes there's an additional page in there. So I'll have to do that with just regular, probably copy paper or maybe another. Um, I have some some paper that's maybe like coordinates. Oh, yeah. Check this out. Maybe I'll do it right now since I have you with me. Okay. So this is some nice paper. See? But of course, you're not going to write in here. So, But it's white on the inside. So I will put it like this. And then you can open it. And it'll kind of have like a little... Um, an, an additional little uh, dimension to it. So I'm going to cut it just a little bit under the seven and a little bit under the 10. Okay. And this is just regular paper. It's not cardstock. So I'm just going to fold it like this. I think I can do an okay job just folding it in half. There we go. And that's pretty good. So I am going to chop the corners so it kind of matches. Let's see how that works. All right, so then I'll stick this in here. Oh, I don't know about the flowers and checks goes, but well, let's see. Okay, so that fits right in here. So I'm not sure. I haven't decided if I'm, maybe I'll even like stitch it there because if I glue it here, Okay, you know what, I'll just put, because I want to finish this off, I'll just put a little strip of glue. And I'm just using just regular school glue. Oh, no, did I not turn, did I not uh, close this? Okay, just a little strip of school glue. 
And of course, I will check later after it dries to make sure that it has bonded well. But I kind of want, want it to be able, you know, to kind of lift up a little bit, but not all the way so that you can see it. Okay, so then I'm just going to stick that in here. There we go. Okay. Okay, so now when somebody gets this card, there's like a little cover inside, and then they can open to read whatever the person has written. Just straighten it out in here. I think that's nice, right? What do you think? Now I have to find an image to put in here. So let me look at my stash. I have, let me see. I have some images from the other book that I caught up here next to me. Oh, look at this. Yeah, something this size that would fit like around the middle. I'm looking for something that may have these colors around. Thank you. And, oh, this has some brown in it. Oh, I think this is perfect. Look, it's got brown from the suitcase. It's got pink from her dress. So let me put this one as a possibility. Okay, that's got a boy. Oh, how sweet. Mom and daughter. I don't want too many colors, you know, because then it'll distract from, or it'll clash a little bit. Okay. So this is what I do. You know, I go through my pictures that I've cut up previously and see what matches the paper. That one might work. I still like the one with the kids in the suitcases better. Oh, how cute is that? Oh, I don't know. That doesn't have brown, but I really like the kitty. Oh, here's the one. There's the brown from the chairs. The kitty. Ooh, this one is another contender. Okay, let's see. Oh, here's a whole family. Too many colors. So this is what goes into making these cards, you know, basically cutting a base, um, me going through pictures and see what fits. Oh, that is so cute. I'm definitely, that's definitely gonna be a card, but not this one. And see, this could also go this way if I choose to do something like that. See, now her dress is red. Are you seeing the pictures? Let's see. And of course, because this is, am I repeating already? I think I'm repeating. Yeah, I'm repeating, okay. So I think it's going to be one of these two, either this one or this one. And I think maybe just leave it like that. I think I'm gonna stick with my first instinct and put this one in there. And again, um, trying to keep it simple. Okay, so this doesn't quite fit the card, but I have some extra, a little edge of extra there without cutting off his foot. I might cut off the hat, but it's not that big of a deal. So let me see what it looks like. If I just slice off right next to the foot there. So I slice off a little piece so it's closer to the foot, but now it doesn't look so balanced. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and cut off a little bit of the hat, not too much, to get rid of some of that white space. Oh, did I not do that straight? Let's see. There. Now, I think, I think that'll work. Now, because these edges are rounded, I'm definitely going to round off these edges. And I tend to like rounded edges better. It just seems like a more finished look. Okay. Oh, and I'm going to try something different that I haven't tried this before on these. Hope it doesn't mess it up. Okay. So you're seeing it here, folks. This is the first time I do this. I got again at some yard sale or something this distress stain by tim holtz now see I'm, i've been watching some videos so i know it's tim holtz because i would have read this as jim holtz does can, does it show up here doesn't it look like jim holtz that's what i thought it was until i started seeing the videos and everybody said tim holtz i was like oh that's what it is okay so i'm gonna distress this a little bit again it's made with an old children's book but because i've cut off the edges it doesn't look very old, even though the picture is, of course, you know. So I'm just going to do a tiny bit because 
I think this is just too pretty. But it also adds kind of a little frame around it because I don't want to mat this. Like I don't want to put another paper under it. So this distressing kind of adds kind of like a little frame. You see, just a tiny hint of a frame on here. And let's see how that looks. Yeah, I think I like that. It kind of like frames it a little bit better, right? So, and I'm going to put it right in the middle because I'm not going to, I'm just, I'm not putting any words or anything here. If I wanted to put like words or something, I would do that, but I'm just putting it in the middle. Okay. And yeah, and I'm just going to take my glue again and use little dots because I know sometimes the school glue can, uh, you know, like wrinkle the paper stuff. So I'm just going to put a little bit all throughout and spread it with my finger. See, this is an actual book page. That's the back of it where they were looking for the animals. Okay. Make sure this is the right orientation and just eyeball it. Like that. There you go. And that's my card. And you know what? Because this is, is it a little crooked? It's a little crooked. But with this type of glue, you can, you have a little time to adjust it. Let's see. I think it's a little crooked. Okay. There we go. I think that's better. Or did I just make it worse? I don't know. Okay. Might have to add a teeny bit of extra glue in the corners. Okay, there, see? And I'm thinking, I'm gonna go ahead and distress the edges too of the card. Kind of to give it like a matching frame around. Okay, Trinity. Surprised I don't hear Drax whining. Nah. <laughs> He's comfy on the sofa. Okay. Okay. There we go. Now it's a kind of like an oldish distressed card and it's got a little design in the inside and you know blank inside so you can write whatever you want so there you go so that is how I come up with a you know beautiful unique card from beginning to end technically it's not from beginning to end because the beginning would have been actually cutting up the book you know looking at the images and stuff but now that i've done that and i have a stack of images i have the scrapbooking paper i have you know all the materials that is how i come up with the card and i really love this card i think it's one of my favorite ones that i made so so let me know mario if you like this one i'll send it to you and if not i can send you a random other one that uh you know is there so it comes in this envelope again the envelopes i picked up actually i think these i might have gotten like on clearance at michael's um i don't even remember but they didn't cost me too much and it fits perfectly in there that is one greeting card done okay am i still oh, my phone hasn't died yet you know what let me i am having too much fun let me see if I find my charger and I can plug it in while I'm here. So I apologize for the um, the lull that we're going to have here. I'll just leave this so you can admire this card and maybe some of these images while I go look for my charger. Let me see. I'm going to move the table this time because, oh, let's see. Where is the phone? Okay. I'll, let me see. Oh, you answered me, Mario. Uh, card. Okay. <laughs> I'll send you a random card then. Thank you. <laughs> um, and I appreciate your donating to charity. That's always a nice thing. But yes, I did promise that whoever was watching me live would get uh, a little card. So I definitely will send that to you. Just remember to email me. Um, 
I'm not sure if you can go into my, uh, I'll, I'll put my email address here at the end. So I'll be right back. Oh, 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 sorry about this. Just charging my phone so I don't lose you guys. I know I'm going charge upstairs. Excuse the shaking because I have to plug this in. Okay. And let's see. Is it charging? Do it like this. Oh! Um, let me switch the camera around. <laughs> Sorry about that. Can I switch the camera around? Okay. Let's see. Oh, so see, I went to my computer, and now I'm hearing myself. I'm not, I have to go do that. Okay, oh, I need to do this. Oh, my goodness. These newbies on YouTube. These newbies on YouTube. Oh, my gosh, it's like this. All right, so, I mean, I want to do this for a little bit longer. <laughs> I didn't want to stop it so suddenly. I mean, it's kind of rude to leave without saying goodbye. So, um, so okay, maybe I'll just make a, a couple more of these and um, see what happens. Okay. Oh, I also wanted to show you one other thing that um, I've done with old books and cards and just paper that, um, oh, maps. So let me just show you some of the other stuff I've done. Okay. So these are little tags. And, you know, crafters, I've seen like junk journal people use them. Um, or, I don't know, they can be used for different things. I would use them. Oops, something up here. Okay. All right. So I would probably use them literally as like price tags for stuff. Here's some plain white ones, but these are all from books. But this is a nice, this was a nice uh, paper, so I didn't want to waste it. And um, I made little tags. I have a punch, and excuse me for reaching over here, you guys. You know, you get these uh, at the craft store, and I got this, again, with a 60% off coupon. Let me readjust here. Okay. Um, and it's really fun. So, uh, what I took is the parts of that weren't really, you know, as pretty, as pretty as this, or that had no images. I just randomly stamped and I figured they could be used as, ba as basis for other things. You know, I could either decorate on top of it. I don't know. I just did not want to waste the paper. You know, I mean, when I put scraps in my recycling bin, uh, they're really tough. Like this kind of stuff. <laughs> so I just like the idea that I am giving new life to, you know, something that would have been thrown out. This was a Winnie the Pooh book. And actually, these I've had for a long time just kind of here. Because um, back when I was active on Etsy, it's been a couple of years, um, I actually sold some of these uh, tags like this with Winnie the Pooh images. Because I found a really cute Winnie the Pooh book, but that had been, you know, written in like not all, most of the pages were good, but some of the pages had been written in or ripped or stained. And um, so, you know, who wants to keep that around like that? So I went ahead and took all the pretty pages and cut tags out of it. And I think, actually, I think this was like the, like the cover, the like inside cover pages. See how pretty look those images. Here's another, um, 
uh, Dr. Seuss, probably the same book. I don't think I've cut up more than one Dr. Seuss book. That that one was just in really bad shape. But of course, you can't tell that from these images because these are the good parts of the book, right? Um, another thing that I do is, um, let's see. Okay, here's some square. So these little square ones are images that are a little bit more like card ready. So maybe I'll do some of these with uh, those smaller cards. So let me leave that up. And then another thing that I've done, now this is map. This is an old atlas that, you know, is no longer accurate. Um, so I cut it up into little flags and I made these. Um, I basically just took a regular paper clip and I wrapped the little piece of map around it. And now they're nice little bookmarks. And then I put the bookmarks on top of one of those um, tags that I cut off of. This is scrapbooking paper. And that's how I'm displaying them. So it's not the prettiest display, but it's still kind of nice. It protects them. And um, maybe I'll come up with a topper to put on top of that, make it a little bit prettier. And then on a trip to Orlando where our family lives, Oh, I have something. Comment. I got to look under me to read. Okay. Yes, I'm back. Thank you. Okay. Um, these, again, are just... I have another punch. I don't have it out here. It's in my garage. That cuts out these um, circles that are scalloped. And so, again, I just chomped off a whole bunch of those. And, um, you know, and I'll figure out what to do with them Uh you know, sometime. Um, these are also good, just like confetti. You know, sometimes people at parties will put psh, little confetti around. It could be like confetti. So I have that. I mean, something like that, a huge bag of this. This is like a snack size bag and it's really full of the, I might try to sell that on Etsy when I get my shop back up and running. But here's some more tags. I think I showed you those. Okay. So, oh, look at these. These are cool. So, these I bought on clearance. So they're $1.99. I probably paid uh, either $1.50 or $0.50 for them. But I think they're supposed to be pumpkins. Um, but they're, see, they have the little holes, so they already have tags. So um, I'll probably, you know, glue some picture pages on it. But anyway, that's I just wanted to kind of share that. All right, let's make another um, card. Okay. So I'm gonna go backwards this time. Come on, Trinity. Sorry about my dogs, guys. Okay, I'm going to, I, I really like this image. So I'm gonna work backwards. So first I grab a, a blank, uh, you know, a blank uh, scrapbooking sheet and I try to match them up. Now I'm gonna do the other way around. What has stopped? I have something here that has stopped. Okay, so now I really like this image again with the kids and the cat. So now, and see, it was page 135. <laughs> and now I'm going to see if I can find a card base that will look good with that. So we'll go the other way around. Okay. This would be, you know what? That might be kind of nice, but the pink is just too pink. I think I'm going to work with that one. There. Oh, I think this is good. Oh, look at this. Nice and simple, plain. This is kind of like a beige polka dots. Yes found one pretty quickly sometimes it takes me a lot of flipping through to find something but I really like that so again I probably will slice off a little bit just to frame it a little bit more so let's do that just a teeny bit because I'm gonna go ahead and distress it I actually like how that distress stain looked on the um, edges there I really feel like it framed the picture really well so there, I think that's a little bit better. And since I'm going to have that frame, I don't need this outside frame. Yeah, there we go. Uh, now this, see, it's got straight corners. So I could just leave it like that, but I really love my, I really love my, <laughs> oh, thank you. So Drax and Trinity, I guess you're allowed to bark because Mario says that you are a good background. <laughs> okay, so... I will chomp off the corners because I really like that. And now we have nice rounded corners and I'm, oops, make sure I have the card opening the right way. I've done that before where I just 
glued it and it was like oops the wrong way okay so it opens like this so this one i don't have to do anything to on the inside because it's already white okay there you go and now i can put the image and again i'm going to just round the corners round and round the corner there we go okay and i really like that wow stain it real quick And this is really neat. It's amazing, you know, what you learn watching YouTube videos. And I'm going to make a confession right now. I will watch my videos at red lights. I will watch my videos if I'm waiting in line. And so it's like the only time I have, you know. Or I mean, when I'm winding down at the end of the day to, you know, I might sit and watch some videos. But... I'm addicted to watching these videos, watching people, you know, crafting, especially junk journals recently. I'm really fascinated. I'm going to show you in a minute what the one I started. But, um, yeah, it's craziness. So I figured, you know what? I have quiet in the house. <laughs> Sometimes when I'm recording my videos, either I'm doing a haul video or any kind of video, I, I like yell. Okay, nobody make any noise. And then, you know, my little son will come in and, you know, trot down the stairs. Or my husband will ask me where something or other is. And I'm like, ah, no, I have to edit this video because I'm lazy. I don't want to have to edit too much. But, okay. So, and of course, now that I have a little time, I do the live, live stream. Because there's no other noise around. Except for the dogs. <laughs> I really like that. I think I discovered something new with you guys today because I had not really, I seriously had not used this distress ink on anything before. And now I think on these big cards, I'm actually going to be doing it a lot because I really like it. I think it frames the picture really well. And because these are, and it kind of gives a hint to that these are, you know, old books. I wish I had kept the copyright page on this. This book was from the 50s, I believe. 50s or 60s at the latest. So, you know, these books used to be used for teaching kids how to read. A lot of people learned to read on these. I grew up in the 70s, so I never actually saw these in the classroom, but um, you know, I just think they're so so beautiful, especially the illustrations. I love, even now as a teacher of fifth grade, I still love picture books. And I have picture books in my classroom because sometimes they're just fun to enjoy the art in them. There you go. Another card finished. Wow, I'm booking two whole cards in how long? How long have I been doing this already? <laughs> ah, okay, so there. And then the... And then that creamy envelope just looks really well, really good with it. Okay, so there's another card. Yay, now let's see. Which other picture do I want to do? I like doing it backwards like that. I think this is really sweet. The kids with the little baby. Let's see what I find. Um, okay, these, not really. All right. Uh, all these crazy papers that, you know, when I bought... Um, yeah, I bought them first of all because they were on clearance because like I said, I'm cheap and I don't buy anything full price, but I thought they were beautiful. I mean, they are, but now what to do with them? I don't know. You know what? This background paper actually is good for anything, I think. So I'm going to save it for something that's hard to match. That one's a little wild, isn't it? Isn't that wild? So cool though. Oh my gosh. This is, now see this ended up being in the back just because of. That's, that's how the design was. I couldn't get it in the front. So unless I wanted to cut it and retape it, you know, it's not going to be in the front. So it'll be in the back. But maybe it's a nice surprise to have something pretty like that in the back. I don't know. Because what I want to do, and I just thought of this recently. Tell me what you think if uh, you're still watching there. <laughs> ah, yeah, thank you, Thrifty. Yes. <laughs> Um, 
Okay. Uh, what was I going to say about having this on the back? I just lost my train of thought. Oh, well, I'm sure it'll come back to me. Maybe in the next station. Get it? Train station. Okay, never mind. I'm getting silly now. Okay. Um, yeah, so that is really pretty. Oh, I know what I was going to say about the back. So um, I've made a whole bunch of cards now. I must have at least, I don't know, 20, 30 cards. So that's a decent amount to get started, you know, uh, even for a craft show. Um, but they're just in the back. I don't have anything. So I'm thinking what I need to do is like just create maybe a label. Uh, and I can do this real easy on, on the computer where it says, you know, this card is made with a re recycled children's book. Let me see. I've got a comment there. Okay. Cheap, thrifty, frugal crafter. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, there's actually a, a YouTuber out there who calls herself the frugal crafter. I think her name is Lindsay. I watched her for years and I, I really love, I'm, I probably got a lot of these ideas from her, but I've been thrifty my whole life. I mean, since I was a kid, um, my mom and I and my brothers would go to yard sales all the time. So um, I've just been that way all my life and um, you know it's a good way to be I think it's good for the environment and all that so what I was saying is I was gonna I'm gonna make some labels that say you know this item is made from a recycled children's book and so it's unique etc because sometimes people might look at it and say you know not really understand uh, everything they're looking at so that way with a little uh, piece of or a little label on the back um, you know it'll explain a little bit Usually cards on the back have like a, you know, like a brand or something anyway. So I think I'm going to do that uh, and hopefully it's, you know, won't look too bad because I just, all I have is plain white labels. And again, I use what I have, so uh, I might do that. But this is so pretty on the back that it might be like another reason for people to flip, flip back, you know? So, all right, let's work on this one. I don't want to chop off the baby, but... I'm going to have to chop off a little bit of the basket there. Oh, that's not too bad. Again, I want to do this this way. Okay. Or I wonder if that would look okay like that. See, to me, that looks upside down, though. Yeah, I'll just leave it on the back. Yeah, we'll see what happens. Here goes another one. Chomp, chomp the corners. Okay, nice. And this one, see, sometimes I I just randomly do stuff like this. It's only these the the uh, only the side that opens is rounded. This side is straight, and I think I will just leave it like that, even though the inside is um all rounded. Just sometimes, you know, I like a little variety. And the idea behind that is that when you open it, then it's just, you know, a whole picture here instead of having that little chomped off center there. So let's take some Tim Holtz again. This is getting a little dry. I need a, something to blot it on. Just take the back of a paper here. Okay. Okay, I'll, I'll just chop it off. You know what that, I was thinking, somebody said about happy accidents. I was thinking there was too much white space on the top and then I go and make that blunder. So maybe I was meant to chop off a little bit of that white space and just, you know, have a more tight knit image there. So there you go. There's a reason for everything. Thank God is in the little details too, okay? I know the saying is the devil's in the details, but no, I think God is in the details. God is everywhere. So now this is a little too dark because I blotted it. Ugh. But you know what? I am going to go with it. Okay. It's really dark. That's all right. All right. But I'm going to try to keep it really thin, too. Really thin. 
So it might not be showing up right now, but when I put it against the paper, it'll really show up. That thin line of, yeah. Okay. There you go. Yeah, you see how you can really see that, that defining line right there. It's pretty cool. Okay, let's glue it. Not too thin, Maria, just a little bit. I mean, not too thick, just thin lines here. Oh. See, I, I have a pond in my back, like that section back there where the dogs are. Amen. Yes, God is always watching. <laughs> okay, so... Um, I have, uh, what I was saying is back there where the dogs are barking, I have like a little uh, pond or man-made lake in my backyard there, and um, and beyond is the main street, so people walk by there, you know, and uh, cars pass by, and I don't think they're affected by the cars anymore, but when people walk by, you know, where, I mean, it's far away, it's not, I mean, several yards away. But they can see them clearly. They start to bark and they get, you know, territorial. And that's probably what's happening. And every once in a while, people will stop by and go fishing back there. All right, Trinity. Draxy, be nice. Okay. Sometimes she gets under his feet and then he snaps at her because he gets startled. Okay. So I'm not too sure that I like this dark, dark edge, but you know what? It happened, and I'm going to just keep it. just going to try to keep it thin, though. And see, there's a little bit of spillage over there. But again, that's what happens with hand with handmade things, you know? It's, uh, it's not perfect. And some would say that that's part of the beauty of it. So, there we go. Okay, there's three cards down. Awesome, I really like that though. I really love the image of the baby and stuff. Okay, so I'm going to do one more. I don't want y'all to get bored there. Um, let's see, perfectly... Imperfect, yes. <laughs> I like that. Perfectly imperfect. Ah, I might use that too in my label or something. Okay. There, there's a third card. So I'm gonna I'm gonna do just one more and and then I'll do a different I'll maybe I'll finish off one of those um clipboards. Um the one I, I really want to use is hearts, these hearts, and I think I remember seeing a family picture here. I'm thinking, now this is really funny. Here's another happy accident. I meant to have the hearts going this way, but I cut it the wrong way. So the card's going to be this way, which is fine. It just means I have to have an image that will fit the long way, something like this. I mean, how cute is that for showing hearts love or this? But what I really want... I remember seeing a picture of a family here, and I really would like to see the family with the hearts there. Yeah, see, I would like that, but the colors just don't, the colors just don't speak to me together. This is a little bit too clean. Maybe this one. Oh, I don't know. It's too pink. I mean, I don't want to just do just anything, you know, I mean, I have to, it has to, I have to like it at least, or I have to think it looks decent, some sort of matching. <laughs> well, the hearts might not happen today. I might find, I wonder if there are any of these big pictures. Let me try. Let me try. Okay, this is these are these. Let me try these pictures. Maybe there's one that I can chop off a little bit. One of these. 
Now, these are bigger, so I would definitely have to. But some of them are smaller in focus. Oh, there are pieces. Yeah, these are way too big. That one's a little bit smaller, see? That one is a little bit smaller. That's so cute. Okay, maybe not. How about the drawing ones? Would a black and white drawing work? Maybe if I color it in. Children, maybe, and I think that's it for the images, the rest are, oh no, there's some more in here, well, that's not really doing it for me, okay, let's look inside this book of poetry here, now this one, I haven't done anything with yet, but I really love, look how cool is that? Now, it wasn't that torn up. I tore it up, but it was already in pretty bad shape. I mean, look look at the cover. It's like, you know, the, the little film is coming out and all that. And um, it's got some like fading on the edges already, naturally. And if you can, if you look, it's a little wrinkled down here. That means it was wet. It was probably put on a wet surface or something. And some of these pictures are really, you know, you can really see the wet. But look at this picture. I just love that picture of the mermaids. I think what I'm going to do with this one is um, actually frame it. And let me just show you. Again, pardon me for stretching in front of you. But I have my old frames here. These are the old frames that I got for a dollar. Okay, and look how dingy. Ugh. It's really icky. Uh, I'm glad I was able to see beyond the ickiness because this frame, this one doesn't look too bad on the outside, but look at the dingy. And who took, I mean, what, I mean, that must have meant something to somebody that seen, maybe some, I don't know, something happened near there. It's pretty, but I mean, why would you frame that picture? I don't know. <laughs> so um, this frame, okay after I clean it with coconut oil, it's going to look like this. Because this one, this one was exactly like that with a different picture inside. But see how nice and uh, shiny and clean it is and all the glass also. So I have some work to do on this to clean it. And um, let's see, is there a little pot here? Okay. Yeah, to clean it and, uh, you know, pretty much just clean it, buff it a little bit, and it'll be a beautiful frame. So what I want to do is frame this picture because even though it does have some water damage at the bottom, I think inside the frame, you won't be able to see that. And I think this would be just so beautiful in a little gross room or anybody, any, any, anybody who likes mermaids, you know? And there's just black and white images in the back, which are really pretty. But I mean, look at that. That is so beautiful. Actually, let me go ahead and go through this book because this book has some really beautiful images as well. Um, sorry for reaching in front of you again. Okay, so let, yeah, let's go. I don't know if I organized these. I didn't. I think they're just thrown in here. So, oh. all right. Okay, so... Beauty is in the eye of the beholder. Yeah, I finally got that chat there. That's true. That's true. You never know. You know, sometimes something you think is, you know, like somebody's trash is somebody else's treasure. That's another <laughs> saying. But that is really cool. Very, like, vintage -y, that that wallpaper there, yellow. <laughs> okay. And what is this guy doing? The raggedy man. I thought that was a dog, but I guess that's, is that a dog? No, I guess that's a little, oh, sorry, I'm not in frame. We're backwards. I'm under, I'm upside down. How did that happen? I'm upside down. Yep, I'm upside down. Check it out. Okay, I, I don't know how that happened, but 
All right, I guess I'm going to have to show you stuff upside down. <laughs> Maybe I'll do this like this. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I don't know how I ended up upside down. <laughs> All right, I'm, I'm going to probably cut this off here really soon. Ah, there we go. Oh, well, no, I'm upside down. So look at this picture right here where my frame. The, do you see the owl and the pussy cat there <laughs> and it already has little hearts yeah i think i put the phone in the wrong way i don't know have i been upside down this whole time oh my goodness talk about a amateur <laughs> crafting youtuber <laughs> all right so let me see if i can fix this why am i upside down that doesn't make any sense that's better. Okay. I think my phone was just, I don't know. <laughs> Am I right side up again? Yes. <laughs> okay. Oh, thank you. You're too kind, Mario. Appreciate you spending time with me. Okay. So here's the island of Pussycat. And see, there's they already have hearts already. So I think even though the color is a little bit crazy, I might use that one. Well, let me keep looking, though. There might be a bigger picture because that's kind of small and uh okay see this was the front page uh sorry the front page the golden book of poetry okay oh do i have the 1963 can you see that 1963 so yeah really cool again here's some more well let me finish going through this picture before i do the card there are so many beautiful pictures i just want to share them there so pretty and I might end up cutting some of these up but ideally what I would like to do is find some more frames like the one I just showed and um, you know frame some of these pictures because you know it's just a shame for a book like this because it is a bit water damaged and old to just sit in a shelf or be discarded when some of these beautiful images can be enjoyed in a children's um room as a decoration or you know whatever now that's kind of creepy i wonder what the story was here i tore off the page so i don't know what the story was Maybe scary stories by the fire <laughs> here they are the owl and the pussycat there's a whole page about them that's so cute i wonder if i and that sail is more pink I don't know. Maybe I'll cut this up. You know what I'll do to look at to see how it will look? Grab this frame. This is another frame that I thrifted and just see if that... Because it would be a shame to cut out something that I could frame. But if I could use it on this card, what do you think? I think I'm going to go for it. I like those birds at the top, the monkey swing at the bottom. It, it almost helps you focus more on those things by just cutting off that picture. And I can always use the other things, maybe the other elements somewhere. And I really like the fact that that sail is closer to this color. I think I read that. Let me do that. So let's see. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to... Okay, guys, it's okay. It's okay. Do I have a pencil on you? Okay, so I'm just going to... See, this is improvising. I don't want to get up again to grab a pencil, so I'm just going to do this because this is going to get cut off. I just want to... Okay, guys, okay. just want to see around where I want to cut. So I'm going to start since that's the straight edge over there. And I can always adjust it, but I don't want to cut too much right off the bat. Um, well, I know it's not going to be bigger than seven, so on the side I'll do this. Um, okay, and it's going to be smaller than five. Okay. And let me cut off a little ledge over there. Okay. 
we did it. Oh, oh yeah, I like that. I really like that. So I can afford to cut off a little bit on the top. I really want to keep those birds and that monkey. Those That's my goal. Keep the birds and the monkey in there. Okay. Keep the birds. Let's see. I think I can slice off a teeny bit more off the bottom to kind of the, make the frame a little more even. I don't worry too much that the frame is even all around, you know, top, bottom, and sides. I think, I don't think that that's that important as long as it looks balanced. There we go. That's very close, though. One row of hearts at the top, kind of a row of hearts at the bottom, about one and a half on the side. That is too cute. I am keeping this one like this. Yeah. But yes, I think it's fancier when you round the corners. So we're going to round the corners. Okay. Yes. And I am going to round the corners of the card bases too. You guys okay now? Okay. And I think I will just, I'll leave the top corners alone. I can always chomp them if I want to, but for right now, I'll leave them. Wow. I really like that. That is so cute. Okay. Do I want to just, I don't think, I don't think I even want to distress around here. No, I'm just going to leave it like that. And this is a nice thick, thicker paper, so I'm going to be a little bit more generous with the glue here. I think this is my new favorite card now. <laughs> Funny how that works with crafters. <laughs> Okay. You just never know what's going to come up next. Okay. There we go. I think I'm going to go with right under the hearts at the top. And what I do is I just rub the glue off my fingers like that. It's easy that way. Okay, I really like, you know what? I want to make sure that this is, let me put, take this up. This is glued down nicely. So I'm going to take my bone folder and just make sure it's down good. Because it's a big picture and the paper is thicker. So I just want to make sure it's, glued well in there oh look at that i really love that card i might actually save this card for my husband <laughs> i think i'll do that funny thing is my husband graduated from florida atlantic university for his bachelor's um and then he went on to get his master's somewhere else um but the mascot of Florida Atlantic University is the owl. Now, I'm nowhere near any kind of cat. As a matter of fact, I'm allergic to cats. But I just think that's a cute picture. And I mean, if I'm giving it to my husband, I actually think this is going to be his birthday card. His birthday is coming up here in about a week, two weeks. May, yes, May 7th. So, yeah. So... This is going to be his card. How cool is that? I think he'll love it too. I'm so excited. I made a card for my husband. <laughs> okay, so that and that's going to fit perfectly in one of these envelopes. Okay. Yep. That is so cool. I think he'll appreciate that. He's I think he's the type that would appreciate that. Um, I mean, he knows me, so. <laughs> Yay, got a card from my hubby. All right, so what I wanted to do next was finish off one of these, um, one of these little clipboards. 
So let's go with this one. Let's see, this one is cool. So this is the, the front. Okay, this the book was something different. And this is the one that had those kids with the kitty cat and the parents. That's where that those pages came from, this book, right? And so I had shown on Nicole's for Nicole's um challenge. It was like a, a thrifty trash to treasure challenge, and I did a video for that. That you know, I just showed it like this. But see, some fibers are coming out. So I want to finish it off somehow. I don't know. But all of this, I kind of like this the way it is, though. I don't know that I want to do anything to it. Just kind of cleaning up those little hairs. I don't think I want to do anything to this. Even though it has been written on up here, it belonged to Stephen. I might try to clean that. I haven't even tried. Uh, and this has been written in. But I like the image of the little boy. I might want to just cover, maybe how about, maybe frame this somehow? Hmm. Let me see, let me see. Okay, there's little yellow duckies on the back. Maybe I have this yellow paper. So you're seeing my total thinking process here. This is not, I have not planned this. So maybe I can cut off a piece here to fit this and then open up a space where, ooh, that would be cool. I don't know how I'll do it, but I am gonna try. Can't hurt to try. That's how creativity happens, you know, or works, right? You just get an idea and you try it. So you're watching it live. You know, ideas coming live. <laughs> All right, so let me see this. I love this board because if you flip this down, you can just, you know, this is meant to be for scoring. So you score the paper, but I use this to measure it. So this is almost nine inches by six inches. So I'm going to cut the paper to almost that size. <clears throat> this is a 12 by 12. So I'm going to cut it to a little bit under nine inches, maybe like eight and three quarters. Okay. Eight and three quarters. There you go. Wow, that's like really, really close. Okay. And what was it this way? I forgot already. Oh, that's what we did that. Okay. This way was right under six. So I'm going to try five and three quarters. Five and three quarters. Okay. There we go. Okay. So that will cover this just about perfectly. Now it's going to have that edge. I might just leave that because I mean, that shows that it was a book cover. Okay. But I do want to cover that little bit of. Wow, that's like perfect. That is like perfect. So now here's the tricky part, is figuring out where my boy is in here. He is right here. He is right here. So, and he measures. Do I really not have a ruler somewhere around here? So again, getting creative. I don't feel like getting up to look for a ruler. Let me grab a piece of paper here. Okay, here we go. He is... That's above his head, and that is his foot at the bottom here. Okay, this is the size of my boy right here. Okay, that is the size of my boy. How wide is he? From here. Yeah, maybe a little bit thinner. I think that's perfect. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. This is like totally winging it here. And I think he is right here. About a finger's length from here and 
but a bit more than a finger's length, length from the side. Okay, so about a finger's length from the inside, and a little bit more than a finger's length. So this is where approximately the image of the little boy is. So I am just going to cut. I'm just going to cut and try to fit that image right there. So I'm just going to snip in here. First cut a circle out of the middle. Okay, just to make it easier for me to get my scissors in there. Okay. And then I'm going to try to cut. All right. I have an idea. I have an idea of where it is. So about here. I'm really scared. <laughs> Not really. I think this is really cool. Do I want to round it off? I don't know. I don't want to do too much too fast. Okay. Getting there. Getting there. Maybe what I need to do is draw with a pencil, but again, I didn't have a pencil. And I'm too lazy to get up right now. Wait, this side is good. A little bit more on this side. A little bit more on the top. This side was just a teeny beanie. And then the bottom was just a teeny weeny. Am I in frame? Well, kind of. Okay. Let's see. Wow, that's pretty close. Let's see. A tiny bit around the shoes, and I think I'm done. The rest of it looks pretty good. That's kind of crooked, but I don't know. I think it adds, it kind of makes it look like he's walking up. So I think I'm okay with that. Let me just round this off a little bit. Slice off a little bit. Round it off. Maybe go up a sliver, sliver. that that's getting thrown out <laughs> okay how are we doing Ooh, almost there look at teeny another sliver off this corner right here nothing more here yeah i think we've got it we've got it okay sliver is that a sliver How are we doing? Oh, a sliver on his heel. I just don't want to go too far, you know? Okay. Sliver just on the heel. There we go. Oh, this heel. <laughs> okay. The bottom heel. Sliver. A sliver, Maria. Don't go crazy. Okay. I think this should be it. This should be it. This should be it. Yes. All right. Check that out. I really like that. That is so cool. And you know what? Because it is like very vintage and this is like a stark contrast. I'm going to ink it up on the inside. Let's see. You know what? Let me. This is a little bit. I don't want it so dark. Let's see if I just stick with my finger and do that. Mm, still kind of dark. Okay. Oh well. Might as well. 
I've never done this like that from the inside. It's different. Actually, I've never seen anybody do anything like this either. Not, I'm not saying nobody's ever done it. I haven't seen it. So this is actually an original idea. Yay! I do have my own ideas. <laughs> I don't just copy stuff from everybody else. I mean, most of it I, I do copy from other crafters. You know, that's what we do. We get ideas from each other. But hey, I came up with an original one. <laughs> distressing from the inside okay oh yes oh yes oh yes oh yes I like that I really like that I think somebody else will probably like that too I think I could probably sell this one so let's glue it oh before we do that I wonder do I want to chop the corners you know what? No, I don't because this is pretty square, so I'm just going to leave it just like that. But I'm glad I took a second to think about it. And this is uh, this scrapbooking paper. It's not cardstock, it's scrapbooking paper, but it's pretty uh, sturdy, so I feel comfortable gluing it up. Oh, I'm glad this is on the inside because I'm using the finger I used with the stain, and look at that, it's staining the inside. I don't know if that's going to come through on the other side. I don't think so, but if it does, it'll be interesting to see what happens or how it shows up. So I'm kind of being sloppy. I'm kind of really excited to, to see how this turns out, but let me not mess it up. I don't want to get my other hand dirty. Okay, I really want that glue to frame it for sure frame it for sure okay and then this will be the last thing I do because it feels like I have been on and off here because of getting kicked out for a while and I want to as much as I love to I would love to sit here all day and Craft. I do have responsibilities and the laundry is calling out to me so I'll do that for a while oh I am like so ecstatic about this seriously oh my goodness I'm loving this straighten out straighten out straighten out Careful, don't use the dirty finger. <laughs> don't use the dirty finger. <laughs> okay, ah, I want to cover that, I want to cover that. Okay, there we go. It's a little wrinkly, so that's when we use our tools. Straighten it out. Now, I have seen other crafters use a brayer. I, I didn't know what that was until I saw them use it, which is like a little roller, like a roller, you know, that they use to, so that they can straighten out. I'm gonna, I might need to get one of those things. But for now, this seems to be working okay. My fingers, and they've needed my little, this bone folder, even though it's technically not bone, this is plastic. I do have a bone folder made out of bone, but it's in a drawer somewhere. But this is working okay. I think I've straightened it all out. Have a little bit down here and a sliver of the book up there. That's a little wrinkly still. And I have some glue spots here and there. But that'll dry. This glue dries clear, so it should be fine. Check it out. Isn't that cool? I really love it. I think it's unique. And it um, kind of gives it, because of the yellow, it kind of is like a continuity from the back, right? So um, 
the next thing I want to do, the last thing I'll do to finish this off is I think I'll put some of that yellow paper to cover this clip right here. Yeah, so let's see how much would I need. Do I want to go all around? This, this opens up. Okay, so I don't know the exact measurements. So I'm, again, I'm just winging this because I don't want to get up to get a ruler. Oh, terribly lazy is that. Okay, so let's do this. Mm -mm -mm. Where did I put it? Okay. Okay. About half an inch. Nope, this way. Move like that. Okay. Let's see. Okay, so it's a little bit short, but that's okay. It's got like a little frame around it. Okay. And let's see, I'm just gonna make a dent there. And yeah, I'll slice it. I was gonna use my scissors, but this makes it nice and straight. Okay. All right, so I'm going to cover this all around. It's a little short back there, but that's okay. Let me hit frame it there see so then it'll just kind of match on both sides let's see if glue if regular school glue with work will work if not I have some other glue that I can use if I come back later and this is not you know working for now I'm just gonna go ahead and use what I have what I have right here clean my finger on this piece of paper So, do you want to press down on here? Okay. All right. So, let me hold on to that for a minute. And it's a little glue sticking out in there. See, I've got a little strip of this paper that I'm going to throw out. Let's see if I can clean it off with that. Clean it off. Improvising, I'm telling you. <laughs> That's the name of the game. Improvising, okay. Just cleaning off that extra glue. It looks like I messed up the... Okay, so I made a little stain on it. I'm not going to stress over it. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I'm staining it a little bit. Okay, now let's see the finished product. Yeah, I mean, it's not a huge thing, but I think it just adds a little touch there. I might even glue something to the middle but possibly could I glue to the middle? I feel like I need something else to finish it off. Maybe something this color. Oh, but on this side, I think it looks nice. Let me see, I'm seeing off the side here. No, I think it's nice. I think, I think I'm done. What do you think? I don't know. I mean, I don't know what else I could do to it. Maybe I could put something on here if I think of it later, but I can't think of anything right now. I think I'm done with that. Yeah. Cool. Now, I'm going to see what else I can do with these. Find other papers to, you know, tape to this. Well, you know what? This clip is bigger than that clip. Maybe that's what I'm thinking. I need a bigger clip. You know what? I'm going to try that. I'm just going to try a bigger clip where it has more room for, I'm throwing the clip, this is what I need is a clip, where it has more room to, so you could, you know, kind of see it. So let me try another strip of paper. This time I'm just going to 
put it. Cut it right here. I'm doing slivers at a time because I want to really cover it as exact as I can. I mean, yeah, cover it as close as possible. There we go. Still have a little bit on the side. There. And there. Okay. Take this out. See, just when you think you're done, you get another idea and another little tickle in your brain to adjust something. So, let's see. Yeah, I think this will be perfect, actually. Okay. All right. Let's do it. It doesn't take that much. Oops. What are you trying to tell me, glue? No, I don't think more. I don't think I need more glue. I think you're fine. Okay. All right. Here we go. Tape it like right tucked in there. Maybe in here, tucked in there. The middle. There. Okay, see that one covered a little bit better, like more to the edge. Okay, and I've got a little flower on this side. Maybe that's all I need, and maybe that little element. You know, it's not like a big difference, but to me it looks better. <laughs> so I'm happier with this, with this bigger clip here that has more of a, you know, space for the color to shine through. Yeah, see? Oh, yeah. I'm done. Okay. Well, thank you so much to a Mario that has been has stuck with me um, most of the video. I think there was somebody else there. Julio, I think. Somebody else. Um, and um, anyone else who is watching this, you know, the replay of this later, uh, let me know if you would be interested in catching me uh, live another time. I'm not sure when I would do it again, but, um, you know, let me know if that's something you might be interested in doing. And, um, you know, maybe to encourage you to do that, I'll offer again, you know, a little gift of a little card or something that I have made, uh, you know, for putting up with me here. <laughs> okay. Um, well, this was definitely something different, right? This was definitely something different. <laughs> so thank you again for joining me. Um, I hope that if you haven't already, you will uh, subscribe. And um, if you like this video, go ahead and hit me a like. And let me know if you want me to try out this live streaming again. Um, I had fun. I mean, I'm willing to do it again. It's just a matter of finding the right time. And... Um, and if you don't mind my hearing my family in the background, I might just do it even when they're around. <laughs> okay. So uh, as always, have a blessed day. Oh, thank you so much. Okay, Mario. Well, maybe I'll see you next time then. Take care. Bye-bye. Now I got to figure out how to end this. <laughs> okay. Bye-bye.